the small, winged creature hovers silently over its prey, moving quickly and with purpose. Its needle-like mouthparts pierce the skin, injecting a numbing agent that prevents the victim from feeling its presence. The tiny parasite begins to feed on the host's blood, hidden from view and undetected. Unbeknownst to the victim, the creature can transmit deadly diseases, leaving behind a trail of sickness and misery. Can I introduce to you the sand fly, also known as phlebotamine fly, nocium, punky. Sand flies are found in many regions of the world, particularly in warm, tropical and subtropical areas, as well as arid and semi-arid regions. They are commonly found in sandy or muddy areas near water sources such as beaches, riverbanks, and wetlands, as well as in forests, caves, and other natural habitats. Sand flies are particularly prevalent in parts of Africa, Asia, the Middle East, South America, and the Mediterranean region. In some regions, they are also known to inhabit urban areas and breed in stagnant water or waste. Sand flies are blood-feeding insects, and the female flies require blood meals in order to produce eggs. While feeding, they inject saliva into the skin, which contains anticoagulants and other compounds that help to facilitate feeding. This saliva can cause local skin reactions, such as itching, swelling, and redness. In addition to these local reactions, sand flies can transmit a number of diseases to humans through their bites, making them a potential health risk in areas where disease transmission is common. So what disease can you get from this really small, 1 to 3 millimeter bugs? Cutaneous leishmaniasis or even visceral leishmaniasis, also called colazar, a parasitic infection that can either cause skin sores with fever or affect internal organs. This disease can be fatal if left untreated. Bartonellosis, a bacterial infection that can cause Oroya fever, Carrion's disease, and Peruvian warts. Oroya fever is an acute and potentially life-threatening illness characterized by fever, anemia, and body-wide skin lesions. Carrion's disease is the chronic phase of the infection, which can occur months to years after the acute phase. Peruvian warts are characterized by wart-like growths on the skin that can bleed or become infected. Sandfly fever, also known as Papatasi fever, a viral illness that causes fever, headache, muscle pain, and other symptoms. It is typically a self-limited illness that is generally not life-threatening. Chandapura virus encephalitis, a virus that can cause a serious illness in humans. The illness can cause symptoms such as fever, headache, vomiting, and seizures. It can be particularly dangerous in children. Shanguinola fever, a viral disease caused by the Shanguinola virus. The disease is named after the town of Shanguinola in Panama where it was first discovered. Symptoms of Shanguinola fever include fever, headache, muscle pain, joint pain, and rash. The disease is generally mild and self-limiting, with symptoms resolving within a few days to a few weeks. However, severe cases with neurological complications have been reported, particularly in children. Sand flyborne diseases have been known to cause outbreaks in various parts of the world. To avoid getting bitten by sand flies, you can take the following measures. Wear long-sleeved shirts, pants, and socks to cover your skin. Apply insect repellent on exposed skin, preferably containing DEET or permethrin. Stay indoors during the dawn and dusk when sand flies are most active. Use ultrafine mosquito nets treated with insecticide while sleeping. Eliminate potential breeding sites for sand flies by removing standing water or damp organic materials. And lastly, please do not confuse the sand fly with the sand flea, a parasitic insect which can burrow into the skin of humans and animals. Thank you.